over to Oops. Matt now, who's standing by to do a very big interview this morning. Matt, are you there? I am. I'm here in the beautiful Sydney sun. So Richard Branton's multi-award winning cruise liner has docked in beautiful Sydney Harbour. It's here for the summer sailing season. And with me, the man behind it all, Sir Richard Branton himself. Thank you very much for joining us. It's uh, rather special to be here. Well, <laughs> I think we can take some credit for turning on the weather. You can take some credit for turning on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've just um, been talking to all the, all the passengers who uh, traveled all the way from the, Medi the Mediterranean to here 45 days and uh, they, they had a blast and, and, and that made me feel that, that uh, it was all worthwhile I mean we launched when COVID broke out so it was a painful initial start but to actually have the ship here in beautiful Australia uh, is, a, is very much a pinch me moment. Yeah, well, you certainly made your entrance yesterday. I think we've got some footage of the ship arriving and you arriving in Sir Richard's style <laughs> in your speedboat. Well, <laughs> you really know how to make an entrance. I wanted to. I mean, they've been 45 days on our ship, so I, want, I wanted to welcome them. And, uh, um, and uh, I went around once and then I went around twice and then I was really enjoying myself. And then of course I was creating my own waves, so I was <laughs> go, going all over the place. But um, no, I think, um, you know, if you, if you launch, you know, all, all the wonderful team have created this really unique, special cruise line. And uh, the least I can do is be the icing on the cake and try to make sure we, we put it on the map and, you know, always have a helicopter above us. And <laughs> I know, they fly, they can't get enough, they're flying above us right now. So you just made me I up think it, I think it's your, your uh, lady in red, they just wanted a, wanted a close up of you. You your, like the on brand, yeah, I like I'm them, sure I like the on brand, yeah. yeah. It's all about <laughs> that's, that's me. A, <laughs> yeah, you love coming back to Australia. Why are you launching this here, tell us. Well, I mean, I love I love an excuse to come to Australia, um, and uh, we we did we did a lot of research, and there are a lot of it's an adults only ship. I mean, my, my grandkids are really really upset with me, but um, it's an ad adults only ship, and there's a, a lot of Australians who indicate, <laughs> go away, we've got our picture. <laughs> We're doing an interview. <laughs> there are a lot of there are a lot of Australians who. Um, have said that they would like an adult-only ship, get maybe a break from the kids, um, and um, uh, or you know maybe they want to meet other uh, other other single people or whatever it is, and and um, uh, and so we, we're giving it uh, giving it a whole season, and um, I, the indications are it's going to be a great success, and and, uh, and then hopefully we'll come back every year. We know Australians love cruising. I think we punch above our weight for you know, being cruise lovers, but no kids, no buffets, no tipping. This is a different kind of cruise, is it? Yeah, I mean, I would not have gone into creating a cruise company unless it was, you know, completely unconventional cruise company. I, I mean, I had no wish to go on cruise, cruise, cruise companies. <laughs> really? Um, so that's why we created, you know, what's more like, you know, the, the, the most beautiful yacht in the world. Um, we've got 72 different nationalities of young staff, 1,200 of them to look after you. Uh, we've got, you know, 24 different restaurants, the best restaurants, you know, in the world but on a ship. Um, the best entertainment, um, you know, beautiful rooms. I mean, we just we just try to make sure that it, it's a really fun ship for people to go on. And um, and the lovely thing is, you know, they, the, the team have won every single cruise ship award you can imagine. And. Um, and it's, yeah, it's working. And so we're, we're, we've been very happy. You've called on the government here to remove obstacles so you can dock. You want to make Sydney your home base? Um, we'd love to have Sydney and Melbourne our home base. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, 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 it's, it's tough in Sydney to get, uh, to, you know, to, to get enough docking space, but we'll get there. I mean, these things, these things happen. So, um, you know, so we, we're, we, we, um, I think I think the headline of uh, one newspaper today was, you know, we can get to space, but we can't get any, any we can't get any space in Sydney. Um, but um, but Melbourne's a beautiful a beautiful port, and we'll operate out of there. And um, obviously, we've got Virgin Australia uh, to get people to Melbourne, so it'll it'll work out. It looks great and it looks like fun, but what's the economic benefit to to this ship coming into this city? Oh, it's enormous. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, everybody who was on the ship is, is now out in, in, in uh, Sydney, um, in restaurants, uh, in shops, 
um, uh, spending money, and and um, uh, and so uh, yeah, so it, so it 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 benefits enormously any any city to have a. A, a cruise line like Virgin coming. So, what would you say to the government here to remove obstacles to the cruise industry? Um, I'm sure they re I'm sure they realise what they need to do, and um, uh, yeah, and uh, what, if they pull their finger out, <laughs> maybe next maybe next year or the year after, we'll be able to uh, yeah, one ship in one ship in Sydney, one ship in Melbourne, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. That's the aim, is it? Uh, I may be talking ahead of myself, yeah. we're, we're, <laughs> which yeah, yeah. I, have, I had a book called Losing My Virginity and, and I nearly called it Talking Ahead of Yourself. If you're, a, if you're an entrepreneur, you've got, you're always going one step ahead and then you try to catch up and make, make it reality. It would be lovely one day to have a ship in each, in the, a ship in each port. In the old days, when I was young, I'm sure I would want something else in each port. <laughs> now, now, it's, right, now, now, it's okay. ship, now it's a ship in each port. Speaking of that, you know what? You know the Oxford Dictionary has just released the word of the year. You know what it is? No. Riz. Riz. Do you know what that is? I should, shouldn't I? Charisma. Charisma. Yeah. Oh, oh well, I, I, I would, I'm going to have to um, be very, ri very Riz today. <laughs> you reckon you've still got Riz, Sir Richard? Yeah. I, 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 I will do my best to be Riz, Riz until I drop. No, I, I, I uh, uh, yeah, you, 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 you definitely very Riz. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Thank you. Well, good luck with the government. Good, get, good luck getting the, um, the, the births that you want. Thank you for bringing this ship here. It looks like everyone's having a great time. Well, what we want is uh, all you Australians to come, come, uh, come and, and, and enjoy it, and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on board somewhere, somewhere in the world. Maybe. Yes. Well, the PR spiel says rebellious lux cruising, so it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> And, uh, and lots of riz. <laughs> Thank you. So, Richard Branson, Thank, Thank you. you very much for your time. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, oh my gosh. That looks riz. magic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is Thank just you. the best. Isn't and it? and well he will. Although, I'd be very careful, Nat, because I interviewed Sir Richard Branson on a boat once and he chucked me into the water. Oh. Yeah, chucked me into the water and then jumped in after me and right. helped me back out again. It wasn't okay. attractive from behind. And then threw me back in again. So, be careful, so, Nat. Anything on, could happen. Just. Was it a bad interview or something? No, it was for fun. Oh, Because right, he's got okay. a lot of riz. That sounds like fun. You must have a bit yeah, more yeah, riz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have much riz soaking wet. Okay.